So this is my last attempt, you know, trying to get some assistance from this city and this state. I'm a taxpayer. I voted for J.P. Principal. He said it was going to be a sales tax, um, uh, I guess, halt on grocery sales. I'm not seeing that. They still overcharge. I'm paying. I don't got no link card. They overcharging us at the grocery store still. So I'm trying to get some relief. Man. So this is my last attempt, man. It's like, these people tell me no again, man. I'm going to be like, what the fuck, man? Like, they keep helping everybody else except people like me that work hard as hell. And I'm still not getting no no benefits. You understand? And they keep begging me to vote. They kept calling me. And I, I told them, they're like, look, y'all give me some rental assistance. Okay, yeah, I'll go out there and vote. I'll vote for somebody. Give me some rental assistance so I can have a vacation, man. It's like I've been working for 20 plus years at this damn place, man. And I ain't been on the vacation since I came back to Chicago. Just to go to play basketball at Grammy. And to, get, and, and to get denied when I came back to Chicago, where I'm from, and I'm an all-star player, and they wouldn't let me play. You know how I felt, man, when I got back here? I was depressed like shit, like, I'm an all-star player, and you wouldn't let me play basketball. Something I was trained to do. I was trained to play basketball. That was my job. And you wouldn't let me play. Bo Ellis, some dude that got drafted in the 70s, after Craig Collins got fired at Chicago State, told me I couldn't play basketball. I you know how I feel? I want to slap his ass like, what? How would you mean I can't play? So he told me it's an NCAA rule. They, got, they give you five years to graduate. And I was going on and off. After I came back from Grambling, Chicago fall. They wouldn't let me play when I first got back here. Went to Kenny King, talking about I didn't have enough credit hours. My friend Paul McPherson was over there on the team already. They won the Juco titles three years in a row. They told me don't even play. And it haunts me, so it's like, they wouldn't let me play. So I'm just, I was just walking around. When I got Chicago State, finally when they let me in, I'm just walking around, depressed and shit, in my department. And I can't play basketball. I'm playing with the, the team, some of the players on the team, and they see I was one of them elite players, but they wouldn't let me play. And I, I was dunking at this size. And I came back out and I showed them, last year. They're 45. 46, I was dunking down there where my lady used to work at, at Cedar Park. Still can do the same stuff I did when I was 16. They still won't let me play. I'm on YouTube. They won't even watch me on YouTube. So I just don't understand it. So, like I said, man, this is my last distress to this city. It's full of shit in Chicago and this state, man. They don't help the taxpayers. I've been victimized. You understand me? I got a newborn baby. I got a daughter that's in college. I'm doing them a service. My daughter worked down here at Allied at Navy Pier. I got three people hired, three good candidates hired for this company. So if they don't give me no money today, like with this graduation ceremony or something, that they had us take all these damn tests for for this new job, they don't give me nothing. I'm talking about they better give me us something. All the shit I be doing, I be, they be working the shit out of me up in this damn place. They better give me something, they graduate to something, they better give me some money. I'm not trying to fuck food, give me some money, man. Straight up. Alright, it's hell, man, I'm out.